I've been using the iPhone 15 Pro Max for over three months now. And since then, there's been a couple new features that have been released. So that's why in this video, I wanted to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly on my experience with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. All right, let's get started talking about titanium, which is probably one of the things that have surprised me the most about the iPhone. First off, it feels so lightweight, especially since I'm using the Pro Max models. I never really liked the Pro Max because it was too heavy. That stainless steel made it a very heavy phone to use. But instead, with titanium and the new rounded edges, it makes it a very comfortable phone to use. And then if we talk about durability, my iPhone has fallen multiple times on the floor and I'm someone that doesn't like to wear a case. And I gotta say, titanium has been holding up perfectly fine. I mean, just looking at my phone, there are no scratches, no scuffs. It feels like brand new. And there's not a lot of Apple products that are this durable. Titanium, lightweight, 10 out of 10. And durability, it's definitely a 10 out of 10. Durability is probably one of the things that have surprised me the most about the phone. The accent button was something that I was very excited about at launch, but then the first month, I didn't really find a use for it. I first did Shazam, but then I thought, you know, I kind of missed just having the mute switch. So then I just turned it into the mute switch and then I did it for the camera. But since you can access the camera within the lock screen, I just had a very tough time finding how it could be useful. And as you know, I uploaded a video on how to make the action button really useful. And since then, I've been loving the action button because now when I tap on the action button, it brings the actions that I do the most on my daily life. For example, well, Shazam was one of them. Clean my home, clean my kitchen. My robot vacuum starts cleaning my home. It's a mute switch as well. I can call my girlfriend straight from the action button. So I feel like this menu pop up that you do it within Siri shortcuts, which if you don't know how, I'll leave it linked down below in the description so you can do it for yourself as well. It's made me love the action button because once again, the first month, I wasn't too happy about it. I just ended up just using the mute switch. But now within this new menu pop up, I gotta say, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. And then the battery life. Um, the first weeks, it was great, but then Apple did some software updates that it just totally ruined the battery of the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I wasn't even getting a full day within the Pro Max, which, you know, that shouldn't obviously happen. And then finally, Apple, like around three weeks ago, did a software update. And since Apple pushed the update, at least it's been lasting me the entire day, which I'm very happy about. And I'm someone that uses my iPhone quite a lot. You could say that I'm a very heavy user. I FaceTime a lot. I use Apple Maps a lot. I'm someone who takes phone calls on the street constantly. So you could say that if it lasts me an entire day, that means that it's got a very good battery life. Now, Apple made a very big deal with USB-C coming to the iPhone, and it is a very big deal. But since there's some other products, such as the Magic Keyboard from my Mac, my Magic Trackpad has lightning, my AirPods Max still have lightning. Since Apple hasn't fully adopted USB-C on all of their devices, it makes me still want to bring a lightning cable whenever I travel somewhere. Now, I have been using USB-C on the iPhone quite a lot. I love charging my Apple Watch with my iPhone when I'm traveling. Just the fact that I can connect this camera to my iPhone, it makes it a game changer for me. Just connecting SD cards into my iPhone on the go, it's made it a very, very big deal. You know what's also a very big deal? AI. And what if I told you that you could actually integrate AI in your keyboard? Type AI is a keyboard extension app that works seamlessly, which is powered by ChatGBT. With Type AI, you no longer have to worry about typos, grammar mistakes, or finding the right words to express yourself. So basically, directly with your iPhone keyboard, you can chat with AI, check your grammar, your spelling. So let's say you're writing a very professional text at work, and you're not sure, maybe you want it to sound more professional. So you basically just ask AI, make it sound more professional, and it does it all for you without actually leaving the app iMessage, Instagram, or email that you're actually on. So within the actual keyboard, it's super simple to use because you can basically swipe and you've got all the options there, including different languages. From English, Spanish, French, Dutch, Portuguese, Italian, 
and Turkish. I mean, there's so many languages. You can also translate in real time. So as you are writing in English, it will actually start translating it in Spanish and a bunch of other languages, obviously. It also generates automatic replies, make AI complete your text, paraphrase. Type AI can also continue your text based on your context you provide, making it writing so much faster. So I mean, why wouldn't you download Type AI in the App Store? If you want to check it out, links are down below in the description. If you love AI, you want to type faster, you want to sound more professional, you want to sound more fun, and you don't know how to, AI. AI is the answer for most things, including an iPhone keyboard. Links in the description. Now, I think the protagonist of the iPhone for a lot of people is that times five in the iPhone 15 Pro Max models. And it's been a joy to use, especially in pure sunlight. You get such amazing results. And I have actually been using it quite a lot, not only for photos, but for video as well. Since I do a bunch of vlogs, it's always very nice. And this is currently what I do. I just bring in my camera with my white lens, but then I don't bring an extra lens in order to shoot my vlogs, my travel vlogs. I shoot it all on the iPhone. Since it's such a versatile camera, since it's got such versatile lens with that times five, I mean, I'm just using it constantly. But here's the thing, within low light, within the times five, it's not as bad as the zero times five. Apple really needs to put a lot of work with the zero times five lens. All right, here's a quick low light test on the iPhone 15 Pro. I'm currently using the ultra wide camera. So as you can see, there's a light there. So once I do get light, uh, the quality does improve, but once the light leaves, it doesn't hold up well. Instead, with the wide lens, I'm way closer now, but as you can see, it gets way crispier. So I wish the ultra wide camera would get as good as just the standard wide camera. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. That ultra wide lens, whenever it gets dark, the results are grainy. The results don't feel like of a phone that cost over a thousand dollars. Now I know it's not easy. There's not a lot of room space. I know all of that. But I'm sure Apple could give as much love within the 0.5 lens as the rest of the lenses. I feel like the 0.5 is really fun to use whenever there's a lot, a lot of sunlight, but once it starts to get a little bit dark, I told you in my review, it's still something that it makes me go like, ah, because I love using the 0.5. I think it's a, it's a lens that is very fun to use, but it's just not as good as the rest of the lenses. Now, a brand new feature that Apple released months later after the launch of the iPhone is spatial video. Spatial video basically lets you shoot spatial video, 3D video, so you can later view them or relive those memories within the Apple Vision Pro. Now, be aware that these videos take up a lot of storage, but I think shooting spatial video will change everything. Now, I've been shooting spatial video for my birthday, for my Christmas dinner, for example, since my entire family is there. I mean, I think it's gonna be so beautiful to actually relive those memories. Where I went to a Barca game and I shot spatial video there with my uncle. I think it's those special times. Shooting spatial video has become so precious and I haven't even been able to relive those moments yet with Apple Vision Pro. And I just can't wait to do that. There's a lot to like about the iPhone 15 Pro from its titanium, durable design, spatial video, the action button, and luckily, the action buttons, thanks to Siri shortcuts, makes it very useful. But that's one of the bad thing or ugly things about this iPhone. Until you make it really useful, you don't really find a good way to make it useful. Let me explain. I mean, basically, the options that Apple gives you for the action button, me personally, after using it, I just don't find them that useful. So you, within Siri shortcuts, you have to figure out how it can be useful for you. So that's my experience with the iPhone 15 Pro. It's been a really, really good experience. Let me know in the comments down below if you've used whether the iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Pro or the Pro Max and how it's doing for you, me at least. It's been a really good experience. Love you guys. Bye bye. Um, subscribe if you're new. Okay, bye.